What if I told you that it's possible to get access to over 1400 different airport lounges from all over the world literally for free? Well, with a Priority Pass membership it is possible. And best of all, there are even more perks available, such as free massages and restaurant credits at specific airports all across the world. So this might sound too good to be true, but as you will see in this video, I will show you exactly how it is possible to get these benefits for free. Now, there are a couple of different ways to acquire a Priority Pass membership. The first way would be by applying directly through their website. Alternatively, it is actually possible to receive a complimentary Priority Pass membership via a select number of different credit cards. Now, both of these options offer different levels of membership access. As you can see, there are three levels to choose from when you pay for a Priority Pass membership. And then depending on what credit card you use to get a complimentary Priority Pass membership will affect the type of access and benefits you will receive. Generally speaking, the more affordable credit cards that have a lower annual fee will have somewhat limited access to lounges and less benefits. Whereas some more expensive and exclusive credit cards actually offer unlimited lounge access, free massages and restaurant credits at select airports. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through everything there is to know about Priority Pass. This includes how to sign up, how to use it, which credit cards actually offer Priority Pass, and then finally, which credit cards have the most exclusive benefits and offers through Priority Pass. So with that being said, let's jump straight into it. Now, assuming you were totally new to Priority Pass, let's go over some of the basics about what it is and how it actually works. So simply put, Priority Pass is the largest airport lounge access program in the world. And this past year was their 30th year in business, so they've been around for quite a while. Now, one of the benefits of being the largest operator in the business is the fact that they offer access to over 1,400 different airport lounges in over 148 different countries around the world. So if you do decide to get a Priority Pass membership, it is more than likely that you will be able to find an airport lounge when you travel. Now, if you are wondering how to get a Priority Pass membership, there are two different ways to do this. The first and easiest way would be to go to their website, www.prioritypass.com. And once you are on their website, you will see that there are three different levels of membership to choose from, which are are Standard, Standard Plus and Prestige. So the cheapest option is the Standard Membership and this will cost you $99. Now this will provide you with access to Priority Pass lounges for $35 per visit per person. So if you bring along a friend into the lounge it will cost you $70. In the middle is Standard Plus Membership, which has an annual fee of $329. This provides you with 10 free passes each year, which is worth $350. And if you manage to use all of the passes within a year, it will then cost you the same $35 per visit per person. So if you know you will make a total of 10 airport lounge visits over the course of a year, this is much better value than the entry level Standard Membership. Now, the best value option in my opinion is the Prestige Membership and this will cost you $469. And with this, you will have unlimited free access to all lounges. Then any guest you wish to bring in with you will cost the same $35 per person. Now, if you are thinking about getting a Priority Pass membership and would like to save some money on the first year of membership, you can use the link I've provided in the description below that will give you 20% off a standard membership, which will save you $20. 15% off a standard plus membership, which will save you $38 or 10% off a Prestige membership, which will save you $40. Now, the second way you can get a Priority Pass membership, which also happens to be the most cost-effective way, is to get a credit card that offers a Priority Pass membership as a perk. And currently, there are 14 different credit cards in the United States that offer a Priority Pass membership as a free perk. Now, it's worth noting that the level of membership offered with these credit cards will vary quite a bit. So let's jump over to my computer where I can show you each of the different credit cards that are currently offering a Priority Pass membership. So currently, there are six different companies that offer credit cards with a Priority Pass membership. At the top of this list is Chase that currently has two different credit cards that offer all of the benefits available from Priority Pass. So the first credit card is the Chase Sapphire Reserve Card and I actually have this credit card and really like it. Now with this card you will receive a Priority Pass Select membership that provides you with unlimited lounge visits for the cardholder and the ability to bring two additional guests into the lounge free of charge. After this any additional guests will cost $27 each. Now one thing that you will get with this card that you only get with two other bank credit cards is the Priority Pass Restaurant Credit. And with this it is actually possible to receive a credit of up to $28. And best of all, if you have a friend traveling with you, it is also possible to get a credit of $28 for them as well. So a total of $56 to spend at participating restaurants. The other Chase credit card that offers very similar access is the Chase Ritz-Carlton credit card. 
Now this card is actually not openly available to new applicants, but it is possible to get it if you follow the right steps. And I have a video here on how to do this. Now, just like the Chase Sapphire Reserve card, you get the same unlimited access to priority pass lounges and a restaurant credit at participating restaurants. But one thing this card offers over all other priority pass memberships is the ability to bring in unlimited guests to airport lounges free of charge. So if you have a large family or are traveling with a few friends, this can be a really nice option to have. Next up is American Express and currently they have six different credit cards that come with a Priority Pass membership. The first and most expensive card is the Amex Platinum Personal Card. And this is another card that I currently have and really enjoy using. Now, this card offers unlimited access to Priority Pass lounges just like the previous two credit cards, but unfortunately, it doesn't offer the restaurant credit. The second card from Amex is the Amex Platinum Business Card. And this offers exactly the same level of access to Priority Pass lounges as the personal card does. The only real difference is the fact that it is a business card that comes with different benefits and perks to what the personal Platinum card offers. Now, the third card from Amex is the Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant Card. And this is a fantastic hotel credit card that comes with a ton of benefits and perks. When it comes to its Priority Pass membership, it offers exactly the same level of access as the Amex Platinum cards do. The fourth card from Amex is the Hilton Honors Business Card, which also costs just $95 per year and offers exactly the same Priority Pass benefits as the Surpass card. Now, the next company to offer a Priority Pass membership is Capital One with the VentureX card. This is a fantastic credit card that comes with a decent range of benefits and perks, all for under $400 a year. When it comes to Priority Pass access, this card will allow for unlimited lounge access for the cardholder and the ability to bring two guests in free of charge. Unfortunately, there is no restaurant credit available with this card. Now, Capital One also offers the VentureX Business Card, which has the same unlimited lounge access and ability to bring two guests along free of charge. One difference is that you actually get the restaurant credit with this card, so it's something worth considering if you are interested in getting the VentureX card. Next up is the Bank of America Premium Rewards Elite Credit Card. This is another great credit card that comes with a decent variety of benefits and perks, one of which is a Priority Pass membership. This provides you with the same unlimited lounge access and ability to bring two guests along free of charge. But unfortunately, it doesn't have the restaurant credit. Then there is the USB Visa Infinite Credit Card, which also offers unlimited lounge access for the card holder and the ability to bring two guests along free of charge. Now, just like the Chase Sapphire Reserve Card, you get the same restaurant credit at participating restaurants. And finally, there are two different credit cards from US Bank that offer a Priority Pass membership. The first card is the US Bank Altitude Reserve Card, which comes with a $400 annual fee. This Priority Pass membership will allow you four visits as a card holder and four guest visits. So eight visits in total. Then finally, the last card on this list is the US Bank Altitude Connect Signature Card. This card is free for the first year of card ownership and then $95 per year thereafter. The Priority Pass membership offered with this card allows for four free lounge visits each year. So out of the 14 different credit cards I just talked about that come with a Priority Pass membership, just four of them offer the restaurant credit. And generally speaking, the lower annual fee credit cards only offer a limited amount of visits each year. Okay, so now that I've covered the basics about what Priority Pass is, how it works and where you can use it, let's look at how you can get your physical Priority Pass card. If you have one of the credit cards that I talked about earlier in this video, there is the option to either enroll for your Priority Pass through the specific credit card online portal. Alternatively, if this proves to be confusing, you can just call the helpline that is listed on the back of your credit card where you will be able to talk to a representative that should be able to help complete the process for you. Now, once you've completed this step, your physical Priority Pass card will be sent to you via mail, and this will generally take between one to two weeks. Okay, so when your card is finally delivered, you will need to head over to the Priority Pass website to activate your card. And I've left this link down in the description below. Now, once you are on the activation page here, it will ask you to input your Priority Pass membership number just here. So do this and then hit continue. Now you may well be asked to input the last four digits of your payment card, which you can see here. So put that number in and then click continue. Now, once you have done this, it will bring you to the next page, which is where you can actually create your account. So simply input all of your personal details on this page. And once you've done this, click create account and your account should be ready to go. Now on the next page, it is possible to view all of the lounges you have visited in the past, your details, and it is actually possible to rate the lounges you have previously visited. So once you've gone through all of the steps that I've just mentioned and you have your physical Priority Pass card, I highly recommend that you download the Priority Pass app. This will make it a lot easier for you to see what lounges and restaurants are currently available at the airport you are traveling through. 
Another super useful benefit this app will provide you with is a detailed list of specific conditions that some lounges and restaurants have in place. This can potentially save you a lot of stress and hassle at the airport. Seeing that airport lounges are run as separate businesses, they tend to have slightly different rules and restrictions in place. So it's definitely worth understanding what their rules are before you turn up. So as an example, most priority pass lounges have a time limit of approximately three hours. They also generally allow kids in for free. But with that being said, the age limit cutoff can vary from between two to six years of age. Also, some lounges only allow for a maximum of two kids per family. So again, it's important information to know before turning up at the lounge. Now, one thing that you should know is that from time to time, some lounges may restrict entry to Priority Pass members due to overcrowding. This is a more common occurrence at larger international airports during busier times of the travel season. Now, there are ways to help you get around these restrictions. The first option that some lounges will offer you is to be put on a wait list. And depending on how busy they are, it could take anywhere from five minutes to a couple of hours to gain entry. Another option that some lounges offer is the ability to pre-book the lounge at least 24 hours before you fly. This is something I've done a few times now at London Heathrow because it can get very busy there during the summer period. And when pre-bookings are available, they can usually be made through the Priority Pass website or app. For me to pre-book the Club Aspire Lounge at London Heathrow Terminal 3 this year cost me six pounds, which is not too bad in my opinion. And this is a good example of why it is quite valuable to have the Priority Pass app, as knowing what the conditions of entry of the lounge you are visiting are can save you a lot of time and stress. So besides having access to over 1,400 different airport lounges around the world, select Priority Pass memberships offer a few nice benefits that can make your travel a lot more enjoyable. As I mentioned earlier in this video, there are four different credit cards that offer access to 31 different airport restaurants and cafes in the United States, and many more around the world. In the US, you can receive a restaurant credit of up to $28 on the same day as your flight. And best of all, you can usually bring along one guest with you that will also receive the same $28 credit. So that means you will receive a credit of $56. That will be taken off your total bill. Now, another nice perk that is available with select Priority Pass memberships is a free treatment at Be Relax Spas. I recently made use of this benefit in LA at the Tom Bradley International Terminal. Here you will have the choice of the following treatments. A Be Back 15 minute massage plus O2, which is usually $38. Then a be back 30 minute massage, which has a value of $38. A polish change plus hand massage that is worth $38. And then finally, a be feet on lounger 10 minute plus O2 treatment that is worth $44. When I visited the Be Relax Bar at LAX, I opted for the 30 minute be back massage. And with this, they just put you in an electric massage chair for 30 minutes. And I must say that it's pretty nice and relaxing. And best of all, it's free. So currently there are 13 different Be Relax Bar locations in the US and three in Toronto, Canada. Now it's worth noting that this service can quite often have a wait list as it is pretty popular. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, try to make an appointment before you arrive at the airport. And if this isn't possible, try to get to the Be Relax location as soon as you get through security at the airport and make a booking. I did this whilst I was in LA at the Tom Bradley International Terminal and the wait time for me was about 20 minutes. It's also worth noting that you will only receive one visit per card holder on the day of your flight. Also, it is not possible to book in for a guest using your Priority Pass membership. So finally, the last benefit that is available to select Priority Pass memberships is access to approximately 14 different Minute Suite locations across the US. Minute Suites generally come with a daybed sofa that can sleep two people, pillows and blankets, a workstation, Wi-Fi, smart TV, and luggage storage. Here, you will receive one hour of access for free with the option to extend your stay at a discounted rate of approximately $34 per hour. The base rate is usually $48 per hour, so it's a pretty good deal and it gives you the ability to get some much needed rest. And just like the Be Relaxed Bar benefit, it's worth making an appointment as soon as possible as it does tend to get booked out. Okay, so now that I've gone over most of the basics of how and where you can use your priority pass to access airport lounges, restaurants, and be relaxed bars, let's talk about what you can expect when you get into one of the lounges. Now, depending on where you are traveling and what airport you go to, some lounges will be better than others, but you can rest assured that they will provide similar amenities. Most lounges offer areas where you can sit and work comfortably with free Wi-Fi and charging outlets for your electric devices. And from my experience over the years visiting countless lounges, you can expect to have a reasonable range of complimentary food and refreshments, and this includes alcoholic beverages. Now, if you're lucky enough to visit a really nice lounge, you may well find that they offer showers, spa treatments, and sleeping areas. And if they do, make sure to check if you need to make an appointment when you check in. As from my experience, these types of benefits are quite popular. Okay, so there you have it. That pretty much covers everything you need to know about Priority Pass membership. And as you can see, it can offer you quite a decent range of benefits that can be used all over the world. I've been using my Priority Pass membership now for the past six 
six years and really like it. As you can see on my Priority Pass dashboard here, I make pretty good use of the lounges when I travel. Now, if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to hit the like button as it really helps the YouTube algorithm show this video to more people and it really helps to grow my channel. Also, don't forget that you can save up to 20% on a Priority Pass membership by using the link that I've left in the description below.